All right, so I'm back. I lied. Um, <laughs> I wasn't gonna mess with it anymore uh, just because it popped off last time. Uh, but I uh, was talking to a coworker and they said they recommended try it again, see if I get on there tighter. So I went home uh, the other day. I grabbed it because I hadn't touched it. The br muzzle brake had been in my car um, since that day I tried it last week or a couple weeks ago now. Uh, and uh, I grabbed it. Uh, it was still tightened. I hadn't touched it at all. And I put it on the barrel and it just slid on. So I knew it was not tight enough. Um, and I looked at it and I could tighten the bolt on it a little bit farther. And so that's what I did. I, I tightened the bolt. I put a ring around it on the inside to snug it on the the bolt uh, or on the barrel and then I tightened it down a little bit farther so we're gonna try this again one more time to see if it'll stay on there uh, if it doesn't this time uh, no more tries uh, like I said in the last video I'll just get a different uh, gun one that I can customize a little bit more so here we go I'm locked and loaded pop it into fire here and uh, see what it does That was actually really nice. That didn't kick nowhere near as hard as I thought it would. And it stayed on this time. Let's try another one here. I am liking it so far. Much less kick. Uh, let's uh, try it again. So far, so good. Noticeably less kick in the rifle. I did shoot it several times last time after the muzzle brake came off. Noticeably less kick. I'm really enjoying this actually. It feels quite a bit nicer than it did before. Much better.